if I could say one thing to you, it's create the things that you yourself would want to watch. What's going on guys, Squall Dog here. These are videos that I am beginning to make again to help you figure out how to level up your creative persona. Please, if you wouldn't mind, before we get started, give that subscribe button a click. Don't forget to like and comment on the video. And also, for those of you who might be wondering, I do happen to stream on Twitch. Currently every Friday, Saturday, and Monday. So let's get into it. Everybody, it has been a minute. I have been off of creating long form content like this for quite a while now. Any content that I have made has been primarily short form stuff. And having been away for so long, I wanted my first video back to kind of be something that is a little bit more meta and kind of gets into the heart of what this channel has been about. Creator growth, which as you can see by my subscriber count, hasn't exactly been a forte for me, but that's what this video is here to cover. One of the many mistakes that I made when I first started trying to be a creator was thinking that I was going to make a lot of money making videos playing video games. I feel like this is the mistake that a lot of potential creators make when they first get into this space because they feel like they see people like Ninja and PewDiePie and other creators of their type and think that they're going to have instant success. While being able to go viral is a thing, it's not a regular thing. You have to have a very special personality, a very special category to speak to. And honestly, timing is, is a big part of it too. You don't necessarily have to be the most likable person on the internet. A lot of it has to do with timing and, and luck. The reason I'm saying that trying to be a creator for the sake of getting money and, and being rich is a bad thing is, well, I mean, it kind of describes itself. You don't realize when you first try to become a creator that it's not about the money. It's not about making money. It's about making friendships and establishing connections with people. More specifically, my brand and version of casing being a creator did not start off on doing videos like this on YouTube. It started off trying to stream on Twitch. As diverse and populated the platform is on Twitch, it's definitely not a place that you're going to get rich. Streaming in general is not going to make you rich anyway. You can take one look at your ad revenues when you've gone live and you can see that for yourself. Aside from that, streaming for the sake of trying to make money is going to make you focus on money. Everything you do is going to be about money. Anytime you do something for people, anytime you do fundraisers, anytime that you go live, it the money dictates your decision making. It makes you decide whether or not what you're going to is actually going to be that thing that you're going to go to. Instead of streaming things that you know you're going to enjoy doing, what you'll end up doing is streaming things that you think are going to be popular and are going to get people's attention, which oftentimes doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be something you're going to enjoy. Another mistake I made was trying to chase getting views. Now, understand what I'm trying to say here. I'm not saying you don't need to try to get views on your content. What I'm saying is, is that more often than not, if your main concern over being a creator is just getting your content viewed, you're not going to have as much fun with it as you could. Especially in the early days of starting as a creator, you want your time to be able to be used as experimental. You want to be able to use that time as a way to get used to what you're doing and, and hone your craft. You don't want to go and post a video and then the next day you've gone viral and now all of a sudden you've got, you know, thousands upon thousands of views and you haven't even really honed your craft. As you can tell from the various videos over the course of my channel, there's been a huge learning curve to me figuring out how to make things like thumbnails and intro graphics, outro graphics, deciding which animations would be best for me to get people to come join my YouTube streams or my Twitch streams or just whatever I'm doing. And because I've been so focused on chasing views, what ended up happening is, is I burned myself out emotionally, not thinking about the fact that I was creating this for fun and as a way to build a community of people that I enjoy spending time with. 
which really just gets back to point number one. Another mistake I made while I was trying to be a creator and get discovered is making changes to my stream, making changes to my community, and just in general, just doing things that I felt like would make me become a more popular creator, doing things that I felt would get people's eyes on me more. Now, bef before you think I'm saying that you don't need to try to do things that people are going to like watching, because otherwise, what's the point of creating if you're not creating for people to watch your stuff? I'm not saying don't make things that people want to watch. What I'm saying is, is that when, when you try to make changes for the sake of getting people to watch your, your content, what you end up doing is you end up losing yourself. You end up forgetting who you are in your creator persona. You lose what makes you uniquely you. So if in, in your creation, you're trying to just be liked, you're going to end up getting very, very disappointed. I don't have a degree in psychology. I've been in sales most of my life, but that doesn't mean that I understand how people think. I'm sure the same could be said for you as well. You, you know, watching this with me now. But if there was one thing that I could tell you as you're watching this, it's the same thing that you've heard across every creator that you've probably listened to that wants to give you advice on how to grow. And that is, be yourself. What exactly does that mean? Unfortunately, nobody's going to know that but you. What is your music style? What are the games that you like to play? What is your favorite graphics card? What is your favorite computer? You could take two people who have the exact same taste and the exact same desires or what kind of computer they want. Take them to a store, and neither of them would leave with the same computer. That's kind of a bad analogy, but you understand what I'm trying to say. Just because one person, just because one person does something that you think you're going to like, doesn't mean you're going to like it. Look, what I'm trying to say is, is that if you're going to be a creator, do it for the right reason. Don't do it to become rich. Don't do it as a way to be popular. Do it to build a community. Get friends, people that are like-minded like you, people who that you learn that you can trust. The mods in my community are people that I trust. I haven't seen some of their faces. I don't even know what they look like. Other than the true HDG and, and Pingu Kevin, by the way, their their links are, are below, so let's give them some love. But other than them, I have people in my community that are mods and people that aren't mods that I absolutely love to death. I'd do anything for. And I've thought a couple of times about making trips halfway across the world just to be able to see them because I think about them as friends. And when I stream and they're there, it's just like it was when I was in high school, you know, 20 something years ago where we're sitting there and me and a friend are playing a video game and we're enjoying it and we're sitting there just, just roasting each other or we're talking about the things that we love the most about the game. Do things that bring you closer to people. Don't do things that are going to make you, make you a bunch of money. Because here's the thing, truthfully, listen to me on this one, okay? I've been a creator now for going on three years. You see my subscriber count. If you go look at my Twitch, you'll see I've got 320, as of the recording of this video, I've got 321 followers on Twitch. That's not a lot. There are many things I could have done better to have a community, and, and that'll be covered in another video. If I could say one thing to you, It's create the things that you yourself would want to watch. It really is that simple. No, no. No.
Nope, 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 not today, Satan, not today. Not doing it. <laughs> 